What's up, everybody? It's Trapping Tuesday, and we're kicking off this week's episode at Tractor Supply. We're going to be picking up some brand new gear today, and you guys are coming along for the ride. So stick and stay, and welcome to Infantry Outdoors. My name is DJ Infantry, and I am legally blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places, and I have done some incredible things, all with one mission in mind to inspire you to get outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. So today we're kicking things off, like I said, at Tractor Supply. We are picking up some new gear today, sent to us by an amazing supporter and subscriber of the channel, Created to Fish, my good friend Aaron. You guys have seen him on the channel many a times. Uh, he was my tournament partner for an entire season. And this time he has stepped it up. He's like, hey, infantry, I want to send you a trap, but what trap do you need? So we're going to go inside. We're going to see what trap infantry is picking out today. Let's go. Okay, is it that one? No, we could shoot squirrels with a pellet rifle. Is it that one? No, we got three of those already. Why don't we get that one? Just to give y'all some perspective. Yeah, I think that's the one we're gonna go with. So, big shout out to Created the Fish. We are getting a giant county line catch and release trap for coyotes and bobcats. Let's go pay for this sucker. Hi right, everybody, well we've got it back home and as you can see it is a big trap. For bobcats, it is for coyotes and I want to walk you around and show you some of the features and then we're going to do some modifications to this trap just to ensure that we get the animal that we're after and we don't lose it over any silly mistakes or even cost us an animal that could be inside of here. So let me take you for a walk around and let's take a look at the trap. Okay, as I said before, it is a very large trap. This is the trap area here. And in the rear back here, we have a door opening with a separate cage to house smaller chickens or bait animals or things like that. Um, which is really cool because if the animals are going after your chickens or your geese or your livestock, uh, we could put it in here, put it in there and make it very safe that the animal can't get to it but still attracting it to the food that it's already going after so uh, pressure plate here in the back like most trip traps it's attached to these arms door swings open uh, i'm going to reinforce the door in a later time uh, but for today i do want to reinforce this with some extra chicken wire just to make it harder to get through and also probably reinforce the inside of here this way i'm assured that the bait that i put in here stays safe that's my whole concern. So making the bait as safe as I possibly can is today's goal. And in a later video, we'll reinforce that front door. So let's get to work. And there we have it, everybody. All four sides. I reinforce, all I gotta do is reinforce the bottom, but I ran out of mesh, so I'll have to do that at another time. Um, 
which is also going to be next video where we reinforce the front door just to make sure that nothing can push through. I'm going to see if I can get a piece of uh, metal plating to go over the front of that and that will also help for that. So there you go. That's going to do it for right now. I'll see you guys back here after we go to the hardware store. But as you can tell, before we head over there, still fits. And now it's protected on more sides. I'm just going to make sure that the bottom is protected and we should be all good. So I'll see you guys after the hardware store. Hey guys, been a while since we've been at this location. Been a couple weeks. Um, it's after Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Hope that you had an amazing time and that you filled your bellies with all that wonderful food that God has to provide for us. Well, today, we're back out on the line. We're back out on our 20-acre property, and we're going to get set in now. We have not been here since Hurricane Nicole hit Florida, so it's been two or three weeks, and today we're going on an extra special mission, as you can see behind me. I've got the big coyote trap in the back. We are going to be trapping a new property today as soon as we get done here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up our goodies. I've got a new bait um, in here today that we're gonna try, one that I made myself. But with all of that said, hope that you guys are enjoying it. I know you've watched me set up the new trap. Today we're gonna go put it into place. So big shout out to Created to Fish. Aaron, thank you very much for sending this to us. Uh, we will be catching an animal and sending it out to you very, very shortly, I hope. Uh, I'm going for raccoons and possums here today on this property, which we're gonna start eliminating the possums. Um, as well as the raccoons but today is just setting out the traps so let's get that done get a get a finished up over here and then we get to head to our new 40 acre property let's go all right trap number one good old dave's trap Everybody, trap number one, Dave's trap, all rebated, all set. Let's move on to trap number two. Alright, trap number two. Trap's done, one more to go, and we're off to our new location. Let's go set it up. All right, the short walk to trap number three. Well, you have it. Three traps set back out on our 20 acre trap line. Now it's time to get loaded up in the truck. Head on over to our new 40 acre place where we're going to be going after Bobcat and Coyote. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so we're at the new property. I didn't film where we put this, but the landowner basically, there's a death pile right here. The trail that the coyotes are taking is right over here. Um, he feels that this is a great area for it, so we're gonna start here. Uh, I've already put our bait cage in here since there was already some dead stuff i threw some of the uh feathers in there along with our predator bait that we made along with the predator bait that's down there i'm gonna add a little scent to the back of the cage add a little scent to the front 
Okay. As you guys can see down here, Brandon has covered all of this with leaves and stuff to make it cushiony so that they don't feel like they're coming into a cage. And we're going to give them a pea trail right like that. And that's pretty much baited. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna brush this cage in like you would a hunting blind. So got our camo netting, we'll close this up. All right guys, there it is. Brushed in, pathway, feather for the bobcat. In case it is a bobcat, we've got the trail of feathers. As you guys can see the death pile right here that they've experienced death and dismay already. So that's why we're banking on this spot. But uh, I've got leader leading them in. We've got feathers leading them in all the way to the back where you'll find the predator bait. And I put some more wings, some more feathers and stuff in there as well. Um, line it all at the bottom as you can see with dirt, with leaves and all that stuff. So we should be good to go. With that said, that's it for today. We'll see you back here out on the blind trap line first thing tomorrow to see if we catch our first coyote or first bobcat. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're back and we're starting things off at the new property with the coyote trap. Um, we're gonna add some baits and stuff to it. It's still open, so nobody visited it last night, but I got a carcass from Thanksgiving I wanna put out in there, so. We got that right here. Go put that in the thing. Brandon, where'd you go? Get the bucket. Yeah, so we're going to be starting things off. Just adding some bait, setting the place up a little bit more, and hope that we get a better tomorrow than we did today. So, you know, first day out for the trap, for the location, for everything all combined. So, you know, we'll get it dialed in. You know me, the possum king. Before long, it'll be possum, 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 possum. But we're going to start eliminating those guys as well, too. So stay tuned. All right, guys, there's our untouched trap. Now we'll go in the back. We'll add this carcass, add some more smell, and call it a day. All right, guys, rebaited. Carcass is in there. Feathers blowing in the breeze. We'll leave it for another day. See you back here tomorrow. Oh, now it's off to our other three traps. <laughs> hey guys, we're back on the trap line hanging out with one of the neighbor kids over here that goes to school with my kids and uh, he's got a pretty cool little dirt bike man he's riding around on. But we're out here today, we're going to check the three traps. It's the first day of checking the traps in over two weeks. Uh, we are going to start eliminating possums here on the line now. So today I've got enlisted the Gamo pellet rifle and we're going to go see what we got. Uh, put the new bait out there, the all predator bait that I made myself, and we're gonna see how that turned out on a first day drop. So let's go hit the line, let's go see what we got. All right, over to Dave's trap. What do we got? Oh, it's a little tiny baby one. That sucks, because I don't want to shoot them. And I'm not going to shoot them. I'll shoot the big ones. Now, I know I said we were going to dispatch them, but the little ones, uh, you know, I, I'm not a baby killer. I don't care what anybody says. All right guys, trap's down. Trap number two. Who do we got? We got us a big old possum. So, I'm gonna dispatch him. Reset and keep moving. All right guys, there you go. He's dispatched, we're gonna leave him. Go check trap number three and see what we got over there while he does his thing and goes to God. So, yep, gotta get rid of the possums, man. They're, you know, I try to be nice, I try to be cool, and only take what I need, but when you're managing a property and the person has livestock, it's just not a good idea. But let's check trap number three. All right, trap is down. And it's got another little one, so we're gonna fling him out of here. I'm only gonna shoot the big ones. 
And as these guys get bigger, we'll shoot them too. So don't you worry. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's episode. You know the routine. See you back out here on the blind trap line. First thing tomorrow, be sure to give us a thumbs up on the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's absolutely free to do. Hit the bell so you're notified every Tuesday for Trapping Tuesdays, Wednesdays for our uploads, Friday nights for our live streams. With that said, see you guys tomorrow. This episode of Infantry Outdoors is sponsored in part by Water Purification Products. Pure water at your fingertips. Service, installation, fully licensed, and bonded. Check them out today at waterpurificationproducts.com. Mayhem Studios. Add mayhem to your media with the best in the biz. Contact them at mayhemstudios at yahoo.com. ZW Designs. Get your fully customizable websites, apps, and logos for you or your business. Contact Zachary at zwdesigns-agency.com or call 970-759-2739. And buy generous donations from viewers like you. Man, I can't believe it's day five already on the trap line. This week flew by. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you're new here and you're not subscribed, which 80% plus are not subscribed. Subscribe, hit that bell, ring it, so that you're notified every Tuesday for Trapping Tuesdays, Wednesdays for our uploads, and Friday nights for our live stream, This Week Outdoors. With that said, we're gonna kick things off. We're gonna finish things off here at our 20 acre plot. Um, we don't have to go to the 40 acre plot to the coyote trap today. One of the nice things about having that land is the landowner literally checks a trap every day for me uh bait's still there everything's still there so we're just gonna leave things sit leave it be put no scent around it um but that's a plus i don't have to drive over there every single day to go check the trap just when i need to add bait or do something to it but we're on elimination duty here on the 20 acre property as you've seen from yesterday's video possums gotta go bye bye let's go hit the trap line see what we got for the day guys what do we got let's see who we got home today yeah he's another I think it's the same one from yesterday to be completely honest with you I think it's really there all right well let me fling you out of here Okay guys, so yesterday we dispatched an animal in here, reset the trap, all the bait's gone. So we're going to have to check trip pan on this one and see why it didn't trip. Why didn't you go off? Yeah, that's why. Okay guys, so we fed somebody for free yesterday, not a big deal. All I had to do was clear out the trap pan. Sometimes dirt stuff gets up underneath there, but she's all rebated with the all predator and uh, infantry's all predator. That's what we're gonna call it, infantry's all predator mix. And there you go, put some scent on the trees, off we go to the next one. All right guys, let's see what we got. Another little tiny possum. The king of the possums is infantry. Move traps, take two weeks off. You guys still come back with it. He's a little baby, we're gonna let him run. When he gets bigger, I'll take him out. I hear you, coyote. I hear you. Well, that's gonna do it for this week on the blind trap line. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been an exciting week. We got a new trap, we got new land. Took out a possum. You know, hey, what more can you ask for? Remember we post a blind trap line every Tuesday here on YouTube on Infantry Outdoors and as well as across all other social media platforms. Be sure to follow us as well. With that said guys, I hope you had a good week with me. I had a great week, it's been a lot of fun. This whole trapping thing is a lot of fun, man. If you have an opportunity, get out and give it a try. Just make sure you follow your local regulations when you do it. So with that said guys, I'm out of here for another week. Hope you had fun and as always, I hope that this and all of my adventures inspires you to get outdoors. Till we meet again, whether it's on the trap line or somewhere in between. Have an amazing day, everybody.